Time magazine recently published its list of the world's greatest places to visit in 2023. It includes destinations from 50 countries, including Freetown Peninsula in Sierra Leone. But what does this mean for the country that has gone through many challenges in recent years? Eric Kawa reports from Freetown. Located on the west coast of Africa, Sierra Leone is a country with many tourist attractions. According to the Time magazine, they include diverse wildlife, world-class surfing waves and the lively Freetown Peninsula, which the publication calls the new coastal hub. In 2017, CNN also listed the waterway and village near the capital called River No. 2 Beach as among the best in Africa. What does it mean to have the Freetown Peninsula as one of the greatest places to visit in 2023? Nikki Spencer Coker is a Sierra Leonean lawyer and activist who's passionate about tourism. Uh, the beaches are absolutely beautiful, some of the most beautiful beaches um, in, in the world. And I've been to beaches and, in a lot of different places. And so I think I definitely can attest to the fact that our beaches are uh, beachfront and our peninsula is truly beautiful, not just the beaches, the white sands, the beautiful water, great for surfing, but the greenery, the forests that line it. Freetown was established as a haven for liberated Africans from the transatlantic slave trade. Today, the country boasts many tourist attractions, including Utamba Kilimi National Park, Takugama Chimpanzee Sanctuary, Warawara, and Loma Mountains, among other great destinations. Abimbola Carroll is the founder and CEO of Visit Sierra Leone, a destination management company based in Freetown. Uh, it's, it's great news for the tourism industry, but beyond that, uh, for Sierra Leone, in general, I mean, you would agree that any investment, uh, tourism or otherwise, uh, can only thrive, uh, exist and thrive in an environment that's safe, stable, friendly and uh, progressive. Uh, so I'm sure this will serve as an energy boost for players in the industry and it's also a reaffirmation that things are indeed moving in the right uh, direction. Despite challenges like the 11-year civil war that ended in 2002, Ebola in 2014, and the recent COVID outbreak, Sierra Leone keeps rising from the ashes. Spencer Coker says that with more efforts, a boost in domestic and international tourism can open doors to more travelers. And what can be done to increase tourism, especially the domestic tourism in the country, um, one, well, for international travelers, it's definitely the high price of tickets coming into the country perhaps may be a turn off and I think that's one thing uh, the government is really looking into to see what can be done to ensure that you know ticket prices to the country are not so high, for example, so they're comparable to places like uh, tourist attractions like the Gambia. There is now a government scheme to give citizenship to those in the diaspora who through DNA testing can trace their heritage back to Sierra Leone. This, Abimbola says, serves as a strategy to market the country to the world. I must say that the current minister, um, Honorable Memona Tupat, has been the powerhouse behind a lot of the reform and improvements that the industry has experienced. Uh, for instance, with support from the World Bank through the Sierra Leone Economic Diversification Project, the Ministry of Tourism and the National Toys Board They've been able to develop a new marketing strategy for Sierra Leone tourism, which is currently uh, being implemented. She's also led uh, the, the visa on arrival, which is now possible in Sierra Leone. And uh, we've just recently launched an e-visa platform as well. According to statistics from the National Tourist Board Sierra Leone, the tourism sector accounts for almost 8.6% of the country's GDP. Kai Bokari Saku is a communications and PR officer at the board. In 2021, we started experiencing an increase in tourist arrival with a total arrival of 71,193. In 2022, we experienced a massive increase again of almost 100% of 114,533 tourist arrivals. Challenges we face is still with a image building, destination, image management, and all of that. Other African countries in the Time magazine's article include the pyramids of Egypt, Volcanoes National Park in Musanze, Rwanda, 
and Dakar considered the fashion capital of Senegal. It also includes what the magazine calls the body natural metropolis of Rabat, Morocco, Loango National Park in Gabon, and the wildlife oasis of Kenya. For VOA Africa, I am Eric Kawa reporting.